Yesterday's video was one video that took about four days to make, yet only featured two cars. Today's video is going to take one day to make, but I'm going to try and feature as many cars and as many jobs as possible. So first of all, throttle bodies. Yes, throttle bodies. Three kinds here, three standard ones. Now that is the plastic one from the older car. This one here is uh, the de-restricted throttle body. If you look at that, you can see how far that moves. That's for the 103 brake horsepower car. And this one is the restricted throttle body from the 84 brake horsepower car. Now look at the difference in movement. That can only go that far, whereas this one can go that far. Understand? Of course you understand. That was a very easy to understand explanation, if maybe a little bit aggressive. So the old plastic one's going back into stores. This restricted one is going back into stores where it will probably remain forever because no one's going to want it. And then this one, the de-restricted 48 mil throttle body, is being sent off today to a chap who's acquired a very, very well-known Rover 25. Now that throttle body is wrapped up and ready to be sent, let's do something else. A couple of weeks ago, my friend Peter turned up here with a couple of boxes worth of Maestro parts. In fact, Maestro and Montego. Everything from carpets to wheel trims to interior bits of trim and door handles and steering wheel, glass, gas struts which I believe are very difficult to source for these. There's a mirror there and the heater matrix which is in new condition. There's a jack there, can you see that? Of course you can. This MG dash mat apparently is very rare to come by these days. Washer bottle and wiper linkages etc. Basically loads of stuff all going up for sale, but I need to find somewhere to store it first. Comprehensive list of what's going on in all these boxes there, and I need to keep this list safe. So I'm going to stick it in my filing cabinet and I'm putting this on video so I can remember that it is actually in here. Otherwise I'll be looking everywhere else for it. It's there. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. On my quest to find space for all these maestro parts in boxes, I've kind of made them, but it's taken me so long it's summer again, which I'm not going to complain about. But I also had a little idea. You cannot do this kind of job that I do without getting dirty dabs, and that's why the elephant toilet roll comes in handy. If you say so. But it just kind of annoys me, I mean, knocking about on there, on there, or wherever, and after a while it gets dirty edges anyway. Nowhere near as dirty as the dabs that it cleans, but I've got a solution. <laughs> Almost, not too bad actually. Now I will always know where my elephant toilet roll is. Well, I've decided all the maestro parts are going to live in this little gap there. I think there'll be enough room. And then I know exactly where it all is. I'm not anticipating having to dig it out very often, so it doesn't really matter about it being not the most accessible place, does it? And as for the rest of these stores, I still need 
plenty more work down here. This is fine for door cards and parcel shelves and things like that because although they're bulky, they're not heavy, so being at the back's fine. But what I want to avoid doing is having heavy stuff or heavy, bulky, awkward stuff at the back where I've got to clamber through here, ducking my head all the time on things like this. All these suspension legs and shock absorbers and things aren't too bad here because they are at least relatively small. But having a complete engine in bits on this shelf just here, um, I'm not sure if it's a good idea now. Oh yeah, and these subframes, well they're okay you can get the sway bars out, but if you can't they take up a lot more room. I am admitting now that I've gone about this a bit wrong because this space right in the opening here has started keeping wheels, which is a good idea because wheels don't mind a bit of water and water will come in. Uh, but having all this 25 stuff there, mirrors and things like that, it's easy to get to, it's easy to uh, pick up. That may as well be at the back. You're not going to struggle carrying a mirror. I certainly won't. Okay, there's the Maestro stuff in the dungeon, ready to go in that hole over there. And you know what? Everywhere I look, I said this before, empty shelves. Space isn't the issue. The issue is accessibility, because walkways are needed. Walkways are basically a waste of space. <laughs> Nigel, look, look what I've got you for you. Look, another pulley. And a bag of goodies. A bag of goodies for Nigel. Mmm. Serpents, you know what they look like. They're just dirty, that's all. Good tyre. Good tyre. Different wheel altogether. Good tyre until you get to the corner good time until you get to the corner. Some tracking issues I believe. A good friend of mine wants some wheels and I have a set of serpents here and I just showed him a video and he said I'm an excellent salesman. Well I definitely will not be starting work on Nigel today. That's fine I had no plans to. I was going to do it tomorrow. Yeah tomorrow. Oil change, coolant change, filter change, pulley change. And then, tax the old thing and start using it again. Oh, and wash it, of course. Next, Derek. Lots of people agree Derek should have a bit of work done on it. And I haven't done any yet. I'm not going to do much today, but I am going to do, I'm going to try out one little thing with this. Booth is open, doors are open. And that's what I need to get into the back of here. You can see, that is the access to the fuel pump. That could be the fault with this car. It could be, it might not be. Who knows? I don't. Nobody does. One thing I can tell you though, is it is very, very damp in there. It smells kind of... Um... When I moved all those bricks the other week, there was a dampness to it underneath. It wasn't overly damp, but it had this kind of strange damp wall smell to it. And that's what that smells like. It's not the most unpleasant smell going, but it's not one I like. My jump blades need mending again. Look at that. It's an unusual way of doing it, but it works. Now, when I turn the ignition, I would expect to hear the fuel pump prime. But what if I can't hear it? Well, the answer is simple. I'll just leave my phone on the top of there instead. I think it's fair to say that there is no sound of fuel pump priming whatsoever there. 
so it means that the fuel pump isn't working or there isn't a fuel pump at all that's the lid off and as we can see a fuel pump is present and that means that it doesn't work or maybe it does work maybe there's a relay going to the fuel pump that doesn't work I've just realized something this headlight is really good I might have mentioned this before but I'm just quite surprised it's exceedingly good actually yeah. The efforts on Derrick aren't particularly large today. Just a bit of, you know, you know, what is it? What do you call it? Satisfy my curiosity. Anyway, I can't find where the relay is for the fuel pump. So I'm going to try and find out soon and then we'll see. For the moment, it's already going home time. Is there anything else I can do quickly before I go? When I see freshly cleaned wheels like this, it makes me wonder why anybody would want their wheels painted black. That's an incredible Hulk wheel at the moment. I think it's quite a nice car, this, actually. Yeah, I like it. Last Friday, there's a chap who calls himself Boaty. He came round on Friday. He has this Facebook group called 500 Pound Car Challenge, in a YouTube channel under the same name. The YouTube channel's not any good, but he's a nice guy. And he brought me a nice beer. In fact, well, I put it in the fridge because I thought it belongs in there. And again, I've forgotten to get it out of the fridge. So it's going to have to be another day if you're not going to have a beer. I'm sorry, Mr. Bolsey. Today's challenge didn't work out quite as well as I was hoping. I was hoping to do a little bit of something on absolutely everything. Well, I didn't, did I? Time goes by very quickly indeed. But I did a little bit of something on a lot of things. And tomorrow is the day I'm really looking forward to. Tomorrow is the day I'm really looking forward to, actually. I'm going to do quite a few jobs on the Nigel car. And I'm not going to do anything else, except possibly deal with a few people pocket that. But it must be strict. Mm, yes, you can come around and you can talk to me. But I'm going to be continuing the work. The good work on Nigel. Nigel, the, the hero of the channel. Yes. I like Nigel. That strikes me as a little bit odd. A Vauxhall Safira police car. And not only that, the lettering on the bonnet isn't backwards. So, when that police car is behind you, you'd have no idea that it was a police car. Especially being a Vauxhall Safira. Why would anybody want a Vauxhall Safira as a police car? I know they're not really given a whole load of choice of potential police cars and that's kind of what they've got. But gosh, what an uninspiring police car. You'd expect I'll drive a police car, you can have something really exciting and fun, but instead end up with a mummy wagon. Tactical aid unit, definitely not the part of the police force you want to join. <laughs>